At least the concept is interesting. Infamous director M. Night Shyamalan is back with a new twisted tale of twisted fates with more twists and turns than Chubby Checker having a stroke. Old sees a bunch of people on vacation arrive at a beach that for some reason cannot be left. Any attempts result in a migraine like they just handled their taxes until they black out and wake up back on the beach. Quickly, everyone on the beach realizes their kids are growing at a phenomenal rate, learning they are all aging quickly. It's chaos as the poor families realize they have very little time left and can't get off the beach and are aging years hourly. If there is something positive to state, Shyamalama Ding Dong is back in his low-budget element here. As we've learned, giving him money leads to disastrous childhood memories like the roadside landmine that was The Last Airbender, or the hilarious attempt to turn Jaden Smith into a serious actor in After Earth. It's too bad he still doesn't know how to direct people to act like normal humans. Going at least as far back as signs, Shyamalama still directs actors like Donald Sutherland's scream at the end of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. A unique signature, sure, but I'd like more than a few characters to react like real people here. The most consistent issue is the beach itself and the rules involved. Time flows so fast, you can grow old seeing your balls drop, shrivel, and have dementia set in before you can remember to scratch them. The kids age at the same rate as anyone else, but the parents' aging is treated as though it's slower for no good reason. The rate of aging is explained to be one year for every 30 minutes. Think that's a goof? What happens when you don't eat or drink anything for a week? How about two? That's right, you're dead. If this is the case, then why was so little food given to these people? They should be eating non-stop like Chick-fil-A hosting a food drive in Ethiopia. You are still consuming energy, and that energy has to be burned, so why is no one losing weight like Jonah Hill? Not to mention the degradation of muscle. Everyone should look like they wear striped pajamas with sheriff badges. There is also the issue of the big twist slapping you out of nowhere like getting sucker punched by Mark Hunt. Look, I get you want to have a twist, Sam and Lon, but don't you think the better twist would have been to not have a twist at all? Just end the film with a slow fade to black as the kids are laughing and happy building a sandcastle. No? You're going to force a message with all the subtlety of an LED billboard at 3 in the morning? Okay, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to write you up for bad makeup, too. Maybe if you didn't blow what little budget you had on so many child actors, some of the prosthetics wouldn't have looked like Guy Pierce from Prometheus and you could have dodged the FBI list. It's a shame that old is a mess. The acting is a little weak, and while characters make some logical choices, others are confounding, like cats and dogs finally agreeing on a peace deal. Addressing growing old and how you spend what little time you have left is heartwarming, but gets overshadowed by this anti-Big Pharma message that awkwardly appears like Jesus was late to the second coming. And while there are intense moments like the pregnancy scene, the rules of the beach make as much sense as teaching a Tyrannosaur how to box. Now, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and if you want to see more movie reviews, check out my double review of Snake Eyes and Jungle Cruise here, and I'll see you in the next video.